How to convert numbers to ordinal number in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this intermediate Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert this into this. So we have one, two, three, four in column A and we want it to convert in ordinal number like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Now you can always do it using VBA, but in this tutorial, we're going to try it out with formula. Let's get started. <laughs> Now let's simply remove this. This is what we are going to do. Now how can we convert numbers to ordinal numbers? So let's understand the rule. First, second, third and fourth. These are the main factor. That means one, two, three, four. One to three, this three has different suffix and four to ten has different suffix. Only exception is that 11, 12, 13. Here in general it should be ST but here is this is the exception in the whole ordinal number rule which is 11 after that TH, 12 TH, 13 TH. So 11th, 12th, 13th and if you go to 21 this is 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So only exception is this three. Let me mark it and the exception is this three so and the rest are different okay so if we consider this as a single rule this is for exception and all the rest as one rule so we have three rules to maintain to solve this okay so first we need to understand how we can get st nd and rd and th let's mark this cell as our formula cell we are going to write the formula here okay expand it the first thing we need to consider is to create a rule that will help us give a result of first second third fourth okay so if i write a formula I equal to choose and you can see it says choose a value or action to perform a list of values based on index number okay so if i double click here index number let's say we have in cell a1 which is one and our value 1 should be within double quotation st value 2 will be within double quotation nd value 3 will be within double, double quotation rd okay so we are doing this for 1 2 3 first second third fourth to tenth is a different rule like we have marked here in yellow you can see we have marked it as one rule this is an exception and the rest will be in the same rule so we don't focus on the rest now okay so if i close parenthesis and press enter you can see here we are getting one st okay so if i write in cell a12 it should be nd and if i write here 3 rd now if i go to 4 we have an error okay so we can change this by an if error if error so if the function we have just written gives an error what will be our value our value will be the rest of the rules so 4 to 10 14 to go on so we are going for the last rule here okay so our first rule is ready and if it doesn't meet our criteria it should be everything else so here we are going to write within double quotation th now close parenthesis and if i press enter you can see in cell a1 if i write here 4 you will get th if i write here 6 you get th if i write here 10 th if i write here 11 it also give us th okay 12 th 13 th okay 21 you can see it doesn't change it only focuses on one two three but we don't want it so here the problem is it can only focus on the first digit okay one two three if i give it a 20 first it doesn't work okay so we need to find a way to extract only one digit okay because in ordinal number with the last digit you can determine what to write okay so what if we remove cell a1 and write the right function so i'm going to write r i g h t and within parenthesis the text will be cell a1 and i close parenthesis i don't need any other parameters okay if i press enter the formula is working but here you can see if i write here 21 it still works if i write here 22 we get 
second okay if i write here one it works because by using the right function we are extracting the last digit from any number in cell a1 okay and then we are choosing that number and based on it we are selecting which suffix we should add with one to make it ordinal okay now this part is okay and if i do it for 21 22 it will also work okay but only problem is that this part our exception part is not working if i write here 11 it doesn't work it should be th 11th not st okay so we need to figure out something for 11 so let's keep this formula just like it is now we are going to write another part for the same formula where we will consider only this exception okay 11 12 13 it doesn't matter if it's 11 12 13 or if it's 111 112 113 and so on okay whenever we find 11 12 13 anywhere if it's beside hundreds or thousand it doesn't matter it should be considered as th okay so as we are considering this we need to extract 11 12 13 from a list because this cell could have 111 or let's say 2011 okay so for that i'm going to write here equal to write okay double click here this is the cell and i'm going to extract two characters okay if i press enter we have 11 but you can see there is a problem our number is at the left side okay that means as we have used the right function here our number is now formatted as text so we need to convert it to value so we are going to enclose this with our value formula so we have converted the text to value here so if i press enter our number is at the right side of the cell and that means it has been formatted as a number not a text now we need to consider something if this value that means the last two digit of cell a1 which we converted into value is equal to 11 12 or 13 for that we need to check three value and we need to write it inside an array so to write an array you have to add curly brackets so we are going to write 11 12 and 13 within second bracket or curly brackets if i press enter we'll get only true or false okay but there is a problem if i write here 12 it will give us false because it is only checking if the first parameter is true so if i write here or if i give this within the or function and this is our logical value we get true so what or function does if any of these three is true it will show us true so if i write here 11 it's true if i write here 12 it's true if i write here 13 it's true so if any of these three is okay then it will give us true so if this part is okay that means if the last two digit of our selected cell is equal to 11 12 and 13 this is our exception so if i enclosed it with an if function and this total is our logical test and our value if true should be th so here in the formula we are first considering this part okay and then we are considering the rest of it so this is our value if true okay what will happen if this is not 11 12 and 13 if it's not equal to 11 12 13 it will follow the part we have created earlier for now we give it hello and close parenthesis if i press enter you can see for 13 it shows th but here it shows rd let's write here one you can see if it's one our exception does not follow inside it and the first part we created is showing correctly okay so we need to focus on these two cell which one is working when so if it's one the first one is working if it's 11 the second one is working if it's 21 the first one is working so that means if i enclose this part if i copy it from if error we don't need another equal to if i give this in the space of hello okay so i'm going to use the value if false parameter and remove hello and write the first part of our formula if i press enter i think we have something now so if i write here one it's working if i write here two it's working if i write here three it's working if i write here four it's working 
if I write here 11, this is our exception, marked in yellow, it's working. If I write here 21, which is not our exception, and it's working. So now I'm going to copy this formula and place it in B and press enter. And once we have added the formula, if I double click here, it will autofill and it should work just fine. You can see 111, it has TH, 101, it has ST, or 21, it has ST. But there is only one thing missing, which is the number. Because ordinal number represent the position or rank of an item, such as first, second, third, and we don't have the number inside it. So we are going to change the formula and it's really easy. After the equal, we are going to click on the cell that has number and then press shift and 7 for and. Okay. So now in our formula, it will extract the value of cell A1 and then it will connect it to this calculation. And it will also concatenate the result of that calculation. So if I press enter, you can see we have successfully converted our cardinal number to ordinal numbers. Now, if you are still confused, so I'm going to select this cell and I'm going to evaluate this formula so you can understand it a bit clearly. So click on formula and here we have the option evaluate formula. Okay, so this is the formula. Take a closer look here. The first option is A1. If I click here evaluate, A1 has a value of 21. Okay. Next, it will also consider all the cell. So here A1 is 21 is the value. Okay. In the right formula, you can see it has been underlined. So in the right function, we have the cell value. Now, if I evaluate it, it will give us the value A1 and the right formula is now omitted. Why? Because we have extracted two character from this cell and you can see it's within double quotation. That means this formula result is in text format. Okay. And we have now the value formula enclosed with it. So if I evaluate it, it has converted that text to number and then it is looking for the number within our array. Okay. You can see it's highlighted here. If I click here, it says false, false, false. That means 21 is not inside any of our provided value, which was 11, 12 and 13. Okay. And we are working on the OR function right now. So if I click here, evaluate, the result will be false because OR function give you a false output if all the parameters are false. Okay. So we have provided three condition 11, 12 and 13 and it cannot find it in cell A1. All three of them is failed. That means it will give us a false result. Okay. Now this part we have hold it and here we are working on the second part cell A1 evaluation. So if I click on evaluate, right, and then 21, if I click evaluate, it will extract only one within the double quotation. That means if we use right, this is in text format, but it doesn't matter because we are using choose function. So we need to choose first, second, or third based on this index number. Okay. So if I click here, it has selected ST. Okay. And if error, and here we have false and not applicable. Okay. So value if true is not applicable here if i click again and it will give us st and we are now working on total if formula the first part our specific condition is false that's why the value if true output is not applicable therefore it will focus on the value if false so we have a value that is false and it will give us this result if i click on evaluate again so now we have 21 and st as text because we are using concatenate formula here using ampersand so 21 st if i click here this is the result so this is how you create a formula that will convert your cardinal number to ordinal number in microsoft excel so in general you are going to convert one two three to first second third and gone this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe and of course if you need the formula check in the description thank you thanks for watching i hope you understand if you have any problem let me know in the comments